we will be on in just a minute. We have to wrangle some rabbits, and I don't mean that in any metaphorical way. We have to literally go wrangle rabbits. We have an escapee. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go, just in time. Three, two, one. Happy birthday. Yay, there we are. Hello. I love that video. I think we should watch videos and then just like have us on the audio go talking crap about ourselves. Come, comment on, come, do commentary on our own videos. We talk so, I talk so much crap about Tim the whole time <laughs> so but you're if, such a dark so if you guys ever tune in like during when we do the the premiere of a, of a new video we do the video chat you know we talk to people the conversation that doesn't make it in via chat of her just talking to crap of us talking crap to each other is, we is, are so dorky i i i mean i do everything for y'all's entertainment hi sammy Wow, we are such dorks. Yes. I, I love it though. I'm gonna fly my freak flag proudly. So, we were, been we were sitting as we were sitting here and prepping and getting everything together. Question brought out brought out the Sabak game that we bought like a year ago. I think it was. We bought this like right when Batu opened. We yeah, bought this. when Galaxy's Edge opened. I just I'm not smart enough to play this game. Maybe a year and a half ago. Something like that. I don't know dates. We, I don't have receipts to show so you. So we had every intention on like doing a video of like learning how to play Sabak. I'm not if smart enough. You to have ever me. looked at the instruction booklet on this game. Can you get it out? Yeah. Here. Oops. No, that's a card. It's one of the cards. So, you know, for those of you who might have played poker before, you know, you have certain hands that beat other hands. And there's dice in here too. Yeah. These, this is, this is the com, this is all of the combinations of possible hands that can beat each other. And these cards are really hard to hold on to. Like they're a weird shape. This four pages is full of hands and possibilities of hands and different mathematics. And like, they're like different combinations, so it's like which Rorschach painting is gonna look like this Rorschach painting, right? But not this Rorschach painting, but it's within the suit of that Rorschach painting. Yes. I'm not smart enough this to play is, this game. This is one of those. Where I didn't realize you needed an extended degree to play this. This is one of those games game. where I, you have to go and study somebody else's YouTube video. Somebody way smarter than me. Yeah, there's got to be some smart people out there and they're going to look at these and they're like, oh, it's simple. All you do is... Blah, 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 blah. Right. Thanks, Becky. And I'm then, so glad like you're able to help me with this. It comes with two dice. The, and I'm the, not smart enough to actually use this container properly. You know, it comes with two dice, the famous two dice that are hanging from the Millennium Falcon on the, the gold ones on the chain. The only point of these die is uh, to find the matching pair. Like, they have the same symbols on both, and there comes a point in the game where you have to roll the die and find and get a matching pair. There's no numerical instance of these die. 
It's just they needed to incorporate them somewhere for canon purposes. Yeah, exactly. Should have gotten a PhD to learn how to play Sabacc. That's what it comes down. Yeah, to. I am sorry. I have a PhD in horribleness, not in Sabacc. If you don't get that reference, then is it Joss Whedon kind of night, guys? Oh, it is. So, all right, we'll get into it. Who another. loves Joss Whedon? Everybody loves Joss Whedon. So we are both wearing Firefly reference shirts tonight. Uh, yep. So hopefully you guys can hear us better tonight. He's having microphone issues. Yeah, we have our lavaliers, and uh, I broke my clip. He got all excited. I broke my clip literally two minutes before we went live. So my PhD was supposed to be my PhD was supposed to be to control all the Karens in the world. I suck at it, obviously. You I'm, have failed, Sammy. I'm a pretty you good Karen Wrangler. I can wrangle a Karen, that's for sure. So let's go through the list of what we have oh tonight. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. How much money did you spend this month? This is how I find out what he's bought all month while actually, actually he's working from home and I'm working outside. I will so. let you know that I spent less this month than I have past month. As you may notice, dear, there is no comic book unboxing. Oh, well. I I didn't like the comics in, in this month. <laughs> Not to mention this big ass heavy thing. This has a story behind it that we will explain later. Holy moly. This is the reason we're wearing our Firefly shirts today. It's probably nothing. And then we got this thing. The Geek Fuel. So the fan box. I got two of these this month, okay? And Bambox sent me a notice saying, hey, we accidentally sent you two of the same boxes. So if, if you... Oh, we have two identical boxes? And so the other one of these is going to be given away at a later point in time. So if you don't want to be spoiled, we're going to open this first. Okay. If you don't want to be spoiled on what is inside this box, give us 15 minutes and then come back. <laughs> okay? Uh, because at some point in time, we will be giving away a clone box of this that we haven't opened. Oh, very so, cool. Very cool. But as you know, there are varying There items. could be variants in there. Exactly. There could be variants in there. So, so we're going to... Oh, we'll one other thing we're doing. We do have the new ligands this as well. new ligand. So I think, I think we'll do the band box first. Okay. Um, the, okay. Yeah. Let me, let me have this guy. Let me have this big black box here. Oh, my gosh. It's the big black box. Oh. All right. What you got, babe? Okay. Let us open this guy up. Wasn't even close to you. I wasn't even close I to you. My safety was just jeopardized. For that, so, I'm going to open the box. This one showed up right after Christmas. So I don't know if this was December's box or if it just happened. I'm so lost. I don't with buy our, anything. Nothing ever. I'm I so I'm so lost with Bam Box's schedule that I'm not sure where we're at with it. Okay. So, just crack into it. Um, my palate Hi, cleanser Swan. today is my usual palate Hello, cleanser. Hello, Swan. After a hard you. day at work and then a yoga, it's nice to have a little rum. Well, what's, uh, what's, in, what, what's in the palate cleanser? I just answered the rum. question. Rum. Rum. Always rum. Always rum. Oh, the question's always got the rum. Yeah. I'm a pirate like that. Okay. Our... Okay. Bam! Geek box. Okay. Oh, I'm already disappointed. Why? Because this piece of paper. Oh! It's damaged goods. Should I contact them about getting a new piece? I am going to leave them a strongly worded email about the. I literally threw 10 pieces of this away the other day. We had a we had a ream of this BAM paper going. You so recycled it, I hope. You bought I did, it. I did. I did. Oh, Tim. Um, but why is the rum gone? I finally found the answer. Go and drink it. There me, you go. Me, yes. I worked a half day today, so day drinking. <laughs> All right. Uh, so check out this thing, Tim. <gasps> Oh my gosh. So I love these. We have almost bought this like three or four times. I had, at one point in time, I had an R2-D2 that sat at my desk at work. Yeah, it got lost in the shuffle it got damaged. of COVID. It got damaged and thrown away. This is made out of, this is made out of like a balsam wood. 
but it's so sturdy. Yeah, laser are, cut pieces. This How is so fun cool. to put together. It really is. You should totally do a video of you putting this thing together. I want to hear you say all of the curse words. They're they're actually kind of idiot proof. They're not that hard to put together. So I think maybe you should put it together. Me? <laughs> does it does it come with a hammer? I no, not necessary. Okay. Not necessary. All right. Well, you okay. guys want to see me do a video of putting this thing together? Like, I'll do that if that's something y'all want to see. These are a lot of fun. I really like these. Yeah, let me know. All right. It is the Christmas box. I knew it might have been a month behind because we have Hans Gruber and candy canes. Ah! Yeah, I had to double check. That looks That is Hans Gruber, right? Hans Gruber and candy canes with a Santa hat. Only the me, only the me, best me, pin. Me. Only the best pin. That is pretty cool. This I am gonna wear this every Christmas on my apron at work. <laughs> Hans Gruber. Right now I have Joe Exotic on my apron. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, I forgot about the Joe Exotic pin. We got that yes, one. Yes, I have Joe Exotic. That Didn't he look like Family head. Guy? He did. It was yeah. like Family Guy Joe Exotic. Well, I think Hans Gruber will replace him at Christmas time. Excellent. From now on. That's fun. That's exciting. Oh, look, I came prepared. You can't. How did you get money? I snuck it. I snuck it. He snuck the money. Yes. He's usually not allowed to have money. I did the last one, so you get to do this one. Okay. You have done the only winning one we've ever done. Did I? Oh, that's right. We got the autograph one. We got the autograph one. The, yes. the, the, the Greedo autograph that we have actually right here outside frame. Oh, um, yeah. That one that yeah. everybody can see. Yes. Yeah. Because it's outside the frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, which one? So it's, this is the scratch off. It's like a slot machine, right? Yeah. Okay. So which one? Left, right, or center? See, Todd agrees with me. He wants to watch you put it together. It's going to be a dumpster fire. You know this, right? The Millennium Fog going to look like it came out of the freaking Kessel Run. So when it comes to winning cool stuff in these boxes. Win crap. Well, we won the autograph, but we often get the upgraded boxes, which we haven't gotten in a while. We've, yeah, had, we've actually had good luck with these boxes yeah. of like getting upgraded items. All right. Well, since nobody answered, I'm doing left. Okay. Oh, sorry. I wasn't listening. That's okay. All right. So, holy balls. Um. Oh, it could be a P PS4 or Xbox One. Okay. I mean, I'd be more hyped if it was a PS5. That's or... like reading 100 books during school year and all you get was a free personal size pizza. If we had another PS4, I'd actually play games with you. Because that's the only way you can play two-player games anymore. That's it. You have to do it online. That's not fair. Okay, I'm going to go straight across. Okay. Okay. All right. This one What is, is it? What is it? What is it? Free slapped comic from the CGC or CBCS. That's pretty sweet. I Well, I didn't know that was an option. Either did I. That's a brand new option. So the only thing on the end can be like an instant winner. Minecraft. Oh, I have so much Minecraft <laughs> stuff. I got the gingerbread cookie one and I got the Halloween one and I used them together so I make creepy Christmas houses mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we actually have. We I actually keep, played like, a lot of Minecraft. I keep like demons in the basement and stuff. I, yeah. I'm weird. Yeah. Nobody wants to play Minecraft with me. All right. All right. Be an instant win. Be an instant win. It is a free autograph Funko Pop. We didn't win anything. See, this is why you don't gamble, folks. No, nothing for you. Gambling is bad. You get nothing. Good day. I said good, good day. day. All right. So if you guys remember last month, the uh, artist card was Harry Potter looking angry. Yeah. And we, we, we it was a bet. Was it going to be Draco or was it going to be Voldemort on the other side? Right, right. All right. I, I thought it might be Draco. It's Voldemort. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it's like holographic -y. Oh, it is. I don't Ooh. know if the camera's picking that up. But, oh, yeah, I, yeah there I think we go. it is. Why does he look like Nosferatu? He does look like Nosferatu. You know, I'm, I'm a Death Eater, Tim. Yes, I know. You know, the funniest part is that... Whenever I see little Voldemort, he's always like, oh, my God, Gretchen, don't make me have a lot of good of you. <laughs> it happens. Builds a whole world. Right? Oh, Minecraft had a Walmart, a McDonald's, a football stadium, a fortress. A fortress. A fortress. See, that's what I, that's what I do in I Minecraft. I want to hear about these fortresses. That, that's what I do in Minecraft. You're a freaking miner. You're like I, a I build, gopher. You I build mines. I build, like, deep caverns and huge castles on top of them. 
So yeah, it looks like a giant castle sitting on top of Swiss cheese. Totally. It is definitely not structurally sound. Well, it's Minecraft. You know, the point is to do mining. Okay. Okay. I like to make houses and trap people. Hands into the uh, Voldemort cord. Cor Voldemort cord. Voldemort cord. Voldemort cord. You and Bellatrix Lestrange are kindred spirits. I love Bellatrix Lestrange so much. She's actually one of my favorite villain characters in the Harry Potter books. Like, not like, because everybody hates Umbridge, but like, Bellatrix is kind of scary sexy. Does it help? I like her. Does it help that she's played by one of your favorite actors? Oh, yeah. I mean, Helena Bonham Carter can do no wrong. So that probably sealed it for me because I don't think anybody can play it like Helena. It's so good. Are you talking about Voldemort again? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Is this why you watch Harry Potter movies all the time? You don't, you don't know her I life. Know. I'm calling, I'm calling Ann out on this one. I love you, Ann. And yes, you're correct. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Oh, it's Ernest! <laughs> it is Ernest there is Christmas. not enough Ernest representation at Christmas. We'll have to go put this in the box to hang up next year because we're going to have to. I was very excited about Ernest. Like, She's not denying it. She's all about it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, no to Twenty. Is not, well, that's because I just declared my love for oh, her. Oh, so. gotcha. I, I see it, you, Swan. I see you. That's okay. It's it's like the same thing of like me declaring my love for ScarJo. It's like, it doesn't matter. Oh, baby, you get a shot, you take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Shh, no, <laughs> Alex is watching. Shh. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Oh, this thing feels official, like a photo. Well, they're now aff affiliated with Beckett, so they put them in those like really thick mylar sleeves now. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this feels important. All right. Let's let's see what this is. It is. Um... Oh, this is adorable. It's the little girl who played Tony Stark. I love daughter. you. Was I love I you? Love you three, I, love I love you three thousand. It's the little girl who oh, played Tony Stark's daughter. Oh, this is precious. Hmm. That's cute. That's cute. Wearing the little Iron Man helmet and everything. That's adorable. Oh, Swan's over there talking smack about Helena Bonham Carter. You know what? It's okay to not like the same thing all the time. You hate her. That's why there is you more than her, one Swan. flavor of ice cream. She is terrible except for in Fight Club. Okay. That was where she played the crackhead. Where she played like the crackhead. Yeah, girl. Yeah, okay. That's okay. It's okay. You you you're entitled to your wrong opinion, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's okay. the what, what's the info card got? For All us? right. Celebrity autograph. Never hurts to start your career with a notable role in the biggest movie of all time. No kidding, right? And that's exactly what Lexi Rabe, R A B E, Rabe, Rabe, R A B E. Yeah. Rabe. Okay. Okay. Rabe. That's what she did by playing Morgan Stark, the daughter of Tony in Avengers Endgame. Not only did she steal at least one scene from Robert Downey Jr., she gave us a classic line that no one is going to forget anytime soon. <laughs> They forgot it. <laughs> I love you 3,000. You said 5,000. You know, it's these little roles in these Marvel movies that, like, this could be the beginning of her career in Marvel movies. Like, yeah. Like, I think there was supposed to be a plan for Ant Man's daughter to do something in, like, an upcoming Hawkeye show or something like that. You know, Hawkeye's daughter is now a thing. Yeah. You know, that's what they're going to do. So, interesting. Okay. Um, collector pin, pull Hans sexy ass. Hans Gruber. We didn't know what to expect when Bad Santa came out in 2003. Oh my god, it's so not even Hans Gruber. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, it's Bad Santa. I thought it was Hans. This is Hans Gruber. Son of a bitch, this is Hans Gruber. <laughs> Bad Santa? <laughs> when Bad Santa came out in 2003, but the movie made us laugh hysterically, and now we can never forget the name Thurman Merman or the gift of a wooden pickle to celebrate one of our favorite guilty pleasures. 
professional artist Amy Conley bling, brings us the incredible pin set. Most of you will get bad Santa Look himself. Look at those, well, those cheekbones. Others could receive Marcus or Jin. Look at those cheekbones, man. Oh, my That's God. That's Hans Gruber, man. This is Hans. I'm going to tell everybody it's Hans Gruber. I'm going to tell my kids this is Hans, Hans Gruber. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it so much. That makes Sam, me Sam is claiming the autograph. Oh, she needs she that? She needs the autograph. Well, I haven't packed up your Alios. Maybe I'll throw it in there for you, sweetie. Todd, it's Hans Gruber. Uh, that's 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 the end. It is Hans Gruber. It does not look like Billy Bobby. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Although I can relate to him sometimes. Okay. Artist Allie. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the earnest. Professional artist Nate Call gives us his tribute to the Imitable Ernest P. Worrell and his gorgeous prints. If you grew up in the 80s, or early 90s, you probably have a fondness in your heart for Ernest like we did. Sure. We used to watch a lot of Ernest. Like, my uncle was a we big were, fan. Right. Ernest was on a lot. But was and it was even lot. before his campy movies, like um, his uh, TV skits that he did. Yeah. There was a lot of those back in the day. Prop item. There are a few things that we love more than finding new ways to add Star Wars to our collection. So Prop we item. found this incredible that we knew we had to share with you. Each box was either a Star Destroyer, a TIE Fighter, or a Millennium Falcon. TIE Fighter would have been fun too, but I'm, I'm cool with this. Yeah, I like that a lot. This, yeah, the Star Destroyer looks so menacing because it's the same size. You know what I'm so saying? So it's like this big. Yeah. It's baby so i think we're gonna have to uh so we, we got we, you said we, we got two of these yes so the other one is the same box but once again it could have the tie fighter i guess or it could have the star Destroyer. and we're gonna give it away we're not even gonna open we're just gonna give it away we're gonna give it away oh that's cool we don't stay even know tuned for that yeah we don't stay even know stay tuned for that. that we're gonna be giving that one away what about the card though oh, our, so our the artist card. um that's because this one is a level up ah Okay. Um, what year comes to an end? What better way to end the iconic rivalry? Last month, professional artist Todd Purnell brought us Harry Potter, and this month, Harry Potter and his match, the one and the only Voldemort. Okay. Keep an eye out for a variant hollow foil. What's, Hol Hol what's Hol this word? I need my glasses on. Holio, hollow foil. Only a hundred of those were made. Oh, shoot. Really? Oh, snap. Dang. Yeah, 84 of 100. This one right here. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Very cool. So, so I guess yeah. I'm doing a video of putting this together. Yeah. I'll have lots of palette cleanser. Once again, once again, the other box could also have a hologram card or not, or it could have a different version of uh, this uh, bill. Right so here. yeah, make sure you're sticking tuned and you're following along. We'll give that away we're... at another point. Or it could have a different pin in it too. Okay. One, one that's actually Hans Gruber. <laughs> Yeah. What, what were the options? It was um it was it Dad Santa been, Thurman. No, it was um the his friend the elf. The okay. one that, him mm -hmm. and then it was Bernie Mac's character. Okay. Jin. <laughs> weird, such weird options, man. Such Hoff. Weird. Hoff. 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 Okay. Who doesn't love Bernie Mac? Rest in peace, Bernie. I know. Gone, okay. Gone way before his what time. should we do next? We're gonna do the new Ligans next. Do the new Ligans yes. next? Okay. I love the Milligans. Once again, uh, most of you guys have been here all the time. Once again, yeah, I, we love our friends. I subscribe to an artist out of California. goes by the name Milligan. And he does this thing called Pack of Smokes. Oh, look at this. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He's very excited. So Tell I've, me about it, Stud. I've been collecting the Twilight Zone cards. Um, as a matter of fact... I have these little frames and these guys right here. Uh, this is from the uh, William Shatner episode where the, they have the fortune teller machine. Uh, it, this is going to be a... This is the hitchhiker. A gallery wall in our yes. house. Yes. And then here we go. We've been doing uh, some home improvements. Eye of the Beholder. Oh, and okay. now... Night of the Meek. So some of you might remember this story. So this from, goes to this collection? It goes to this collection. Oh, that's exciting. It goes to this collection. Night of the Meek is where this uh, street corner Santa Claus, basically this alcoholic bum. See, he looks pretty ragged here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's an alcoholic, and he finds a bag in an alleyway that on Christmas Eve. And he's finding out that when he 
reaches in the bag, he pulls out whatever people want. Oh, that sounds like fun. And so he, this is kind of a turnaround story of like, you start out, of you know, all he wanted was was alcohol, pulling alcohol out of the bag. His other friends, he's pulling out stuff, but then he realized he could do some good with that bag. And so it's kind of a character development turnaround. Oh, I like story. that. You do watch a lot of Twilight. Yeah. So Night like Night that. of the Meek, one of one of my favorite episodes. Right very there. cool. So this goes with the. That's question. exciting. Yes. Oh, uh, we've got. They're very excited for me to build this Millennium Falcon. Um, now that of like curse. Challenge. It's like you don't even know me. Um, You've known me for 30 freaking years, Todd. Me not cursing. Did you lose your microphone? This microphone ain't working. Sorry sorry if that's making noise. I apologize. You bum. Here, just talk. To, let's just I'll talk. talk like this from yeah, now on. Yeah, that's okay. not weird. Okay. Yeah. Sorry if that made a lot of noise, guys. Um, okay. All right, you okay. ready? Let's do it. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. I don't... I'm always torn between tearing the sticker or... And I'll send a pic of it later. What, is, what does she mean? Find perfect frame for it. I have mine and I will send you a pic of it later. Is Are you talking about the nooligan I gave you? Oh, I bet that's what she's the, talking the, about. I gave you the Prince nooligan? Okay. That's probably what gotcha, she's talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, we're palate cleanser. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. This okay. is not a very thick stack of pictures. Okay. It's not a very thick stack. There should be five pictures. cards in it. One, two, three. There is five cards. Okay. But then... for some reason, I felt like they used to be thicker stacks. Okay. It's just me, mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. The Prince one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. This is fun. Nice. Cute, cute, cute. Excellent. I love it. Oh, that's a rare one, too. Notice the uh, heart on the back there. That means it's rare. Okay. Okay. I like that one. All right. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, Smiles. Uh, uh, one of the original characters. Remember there was the mermaid character, babe? Yeah. And then this guy that they made statues out of. Yes. Very cool. I like that one. I love the Nooligans. Um, You've been trading a lot Nooligan. with the Nooligans. I have. Yeah. I actually have another Twilight Zone card coming in the mail that I traded. Score. Oh. This one also is super rare because of the yellow heart. All right. So far, that's pretty good. All right. Check out this one. Okay. It's anonymous. Yeah. As a street. That's leader. anonymous. Lighting his uh, cigarette with a Molotov. That's, that speaks. That that's, does speak. That speaks. Not that I want it to be a thing, but anonymous hasn't been a thing in a little while. That, yeah. Well, not that we know. Not that we know. I think it's probably just out of our radar. Maybe, right. yeah. We try to keep our radar pretty, pretty narrow. narrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Check it out. Oh, it's Sally. This is pretty. Although Sally is like my least favorite character, I appreciate this art. I think it's very, very nice. Dude, so we're, we're three for four with the rare cards. Yes. Swanee likes the Batman. It's cute, it right? Is cute. Yeah, it's like it a little is baby cute. Batman. You just want to pinch his little cheeks. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Oh, sweet. It's Kitty Pride with um, I can't remember the dragon's name, but that's Kitty Pride. For those of you who might remember the X Men movies, she's the girl who could run through walls. I like that. She was played by um, what's her name from um Umbrella Academy. Uh, who plays the white violin. What Elliot Page? Ellen Page. Oh, Elliot now. Sorry, yes. Elliot, it is Elliot Page. now. Yep. Very cool. Very yep. cool. That was a nice new again. That, that, you that know, was a good I, set. Maybe I'm mistaken. I thought it felt I'm, thinner. I'm really loving these really sketch nice. cards that I've been getting. Yes. Lately. Actually, I traded a sketch card for what I'm getting in the mail soon. So. Why is Sally my least favorite? Gretchen thinks she's stupid. I like, think she's like so she, she thinks She thinks... She is just a waste of space. I think that she is just spineless and needs to just tell tell them, I'm doing this. I'm a woman. I don't have to be told what to do. I do me. I grow a backbone, Sally. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Why don't you bring that geek box over here, baby? Oh, my gosh. Now, this one might be a shirt my size. You got two shirts in the last box. 
You remember that? I did. I got an Ant Man shirt and a Gremlin shirt. That's oh right. my gosh. What are you flinging this thing around for? Step back. It's not like a butterfly knife. You're not kick ass. What are you doing? There you go. You're my dork, though. There you go. Nine, nine, nine. Big dork. All right. Okay. Ooh, I'm look. I'm seeing. Oh something. wait, no, you can't hate the whole movie. What whole movie? Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, right? We're oh, you don't story. like Nightmare Before Christmas at all? Well, all right. I don't know that I. Hate, there's a Tim Burton movie that I don't actually like. Even even Big Eyes, which wasn't wasn't that the Big, Big Eyes? Eyes? I, I even like Big that. Eyes was good. Yeah. Even though it's not really his style, so. So I see what appears to be a Ghostbusters trap. Like, yeah, it does. Uh, made out of folded paper. Oh, I think this is the card. This is the explanation card. That's what this is? I think. Okay, I, then we'll set on. that aside. Uh, yeah, yep, it looks like That's it. what that okay. is. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll set that aside and read about it later. Uh, so we got another one of these bags. So remember last time. It was so stupid. We were really confused about this bag. And it's really self-explanatory. Every mystery bag is a blast from the past. So there was like one big prize that you could win in one of these mystery bags, but otherwise it was loaded with just like random crap. Do you want to go ahead and open it? What's it called though? It's called, um, it actually has a name, the F-F-F-R-R-R-T-T-F, is that what the, oh, Fantastic Forgotten Fortunes of, retro, of Rare Retro Relics, Trinkets, Treasures, and Trash. That, that's, so... Okay. And that was exactly what it was. Last time this thing was really stupid, so we'll see. Yeah. But there was like one big prize that was supposed to be really cool on the happenstance that you actually got it. Okay. Uh, no, I hate it. I feel like I can never get back the time I wasted watching it. Wow. Okay. okay. Tell me how you really feel. I'm going to claim the mystery bag if it's cool. <laughs> Sammy's just claiming all the stuff that could randomly be nice. She just knows that I'm already putting together a box for right. her. So, okay. All right. So we got a magnet to Little Nero's Pizza. No fiddling around. Little Nero's Pizza is from Ghostbusters. That's from Ghostbusters. Little Nero's Pizza. All right. We got a 3D Midnight, a uh, Jaws 3D play. Uh, what is this, a game It's card? a collector's card. Collector's card. It, except it's in 3D. It's Jaws. I don't know. You can't really tell. Oh, and it's yeah. got this Tom Cruise looking mofo right here. Isn't that Quaid? I don't Isn't know. Isn't that just, Dennis Quaid? I don't know who people are. I just know you, who they are. Okay, and then we got one of these things. How do you not know that's Dennis Quaid? How do you not know that's Dennis Quaid? I didn't look that hard. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, no, we have a little uh, quarter machine thing. Quarter machine it's ball. It's got in instructions. Oh, it's got a no, I think it's showing you all the different characters you could get. It's um, it's a little, little dude in a hat. This is totally eighties right here, from Hong Kong. Pet, it's called your pet cat, and it's just a little rubber dude, and they come with like a bunch of different hats. Like, this is completely eighties. So the hat comes off. It's yeah. Like... This is definitely that quarter trash that you would get at the grocery store. Well, that's going in your box. Oh, no, Sammy. Home Alone. You're right. No, it's from Home Alone, the Little Nero's Pizza. I knew I had seen it recently in a, Chris Thank you, in, Andy. In a Christmas movie. But Little Nero's Pizza, there you go. So, uh, this little guy, that's going in your box, Sammy. <laughs> Was it cool, Sammy? Are you claiming it? I'm not claiming it. <laughs> you can keep those things. Oh, it's going to be oh nice. no, you're getting it, Sammy. Getting we still it. have an owl, uh, owl cheer, cheery owls yeah. box to send you. It's going to be in that. Yeah. Uh, it's a pizza place from Home Alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just grab something. Oh. This is a Ghostbusters. See, box. I think that's why Ghostbusters was in my head because. This, I love this, the this form that tells what's in the box looks like a Ghostbusters. Box. I love the Ghostbusters more than a forty-something-year-old woman should love the Ghostbusters. Once, once again, I think this is the Christmas box because it showed up right after Christmas. No, wait, the Christmas box we is where we got that that uh, ornament, and we got this is this. January. Box. Okay, all right. But I'm really excited about this because it's a Ghostbusters spinner ring. Oh my gosh. What? I'm so excited. Here, did you show the box? Let's, let's, let's show the box real quick. I'm excited. See? Here's the box. And on the side, it shows the ring itself. 
I know, I was gonna take it out so I could see it, but I can't. It's like It's like really in there. Holy oh. oh there you go. Who gave you this tiny ass ring? I have little fingers. You know, I it, it's like it's yeah. It fits on my pinky. This okay. is a ring for ants. This is a, uh, it's, it's, it's cheap plastic. It looks cool. Yeah. I probably wouldn't. But yeah. it's it very, feels really bulky. Yeah. Okay. But it says, uh, ain't afraid no, I ain't, ain't afraid, afraid of no ghosts. ghosts. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. If somebody wants to claim that, if not, I'm going to put that in Sammy's box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says U.S. size eight. Uh-uh, I wear a size eight. Do you? Yes. Maybe maybe your hands are swollen. Are you retaining water? No. <laughs> no this is an eight. That is a nine, my dear. No, it's not. That is a that is a nine. No, it's not. You sure? I'm absolutely sure that is not a size eight. Maybe the outside they measured the outside of the spinny part. Maybe it's bullshit. That's mm. what it probably Somebody's in size denial. Really? <laughs> you want to do this in front of me? <laughs> you can punch someone with it. <laughs> no ghost logo. <laughs> uh, I'll, tell him. I'll tell him it's okay. My brother, the, law, my brother, of, the law enforcement, law enforcement officer, officer said it was so. okay. <laughs> All right, here's the shirt. All right. Hey. I don't know. This I looks see. like a large shirt. This is my size. Oh, it is your size? Okay. You got a Jeffrey the Giraffe shirt. Toys R Us. That's cool. Nice. This would be more for me anyway. Yeah, I think so. I like it. it, it I like very it a lot. Vintage. Dang, this is quality. Yeah, it is. That's a quality shirt. That's nice. It's mine. Oh, my. Oh, it's super cute. I like that a lot. Thank you for forgetting to change the size back. Uh, I think the next box is probably going to be in my size then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is Kevin's hat. Oh, it does. It, it, it says it right there, yeah. Hold on, I got to take it out. Go ahead, go ahead and open it. You're damn right I am. <laughs> and I'm going to go walk in front of the neighbor's van and go, Ah! <laughs> It says it, Kevin's Knit Beanie. Nice. I like the idea. It, it looks good on you, actually. She's on the door. I need to get some obnoxious Karen. They boots. definitely they definitely tagged the geek fuel all over this thing, though. Well, it's called branding. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Very cool. What no? is the, okay. What's all in the box? What's in the box? Oh, man. So we could have got a, a one of three different rings. We got the least cool one, in my opinion. Oh. So we could have got an astral dog one. Or we could have got this the guy, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters logo. I would have preferred either of those, tell you the truth. Truthfully, yes. Yeah. Not loving this size the, six ring. The mystery bag wasn't anything really. Uh, yes, I will get so much use out of this in Florida, Randy. The, so much. <laughs> so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you think I'm wearing it? Because my head's cold. <laughs> no, Sammy, you already made your claim, and then you denied me. So you don't, you don't get. You get of... all or nothing. That's right. Um. The, the bonus item in this bag thing here, the cool item would have been a Jeffrey the Giraffe sticker that would have matched the shirt that you got. That's the only... Instead, I got Sammy a really cute little blue guy with a yellow... <laughs> with a removable hat. With a removable hat. Yeah. And the Jaws 3D card. There you go. I might keep the little Miro's pizza. Then there's Kevin's Knit Beanie, which we identified, and the I Don't Want to Grow Up exclusive t-shirt. Okay, so I will say... They made up for the quality of this ring that's kind of disappointing yeah. with this t-shirt. That's, that's, that's a good quality t-shirt. That's actually a, a quality uh, hat. It's a nice too. hat. Actually, on cold days at Disney, yeah. I would probably put this on. This this isn't thin. This is quality material. I'm pretty cute with it on, but it's yeah. actually kind of hot on my head. Well, go figure. Go figure, right? I guess doing his job. 
I guess it's doing its job. That was a cool box. Oh, not bad, not yeah. bad. Yeah, see, we got some cool stuff out of that box. <laughs> I know she'll be very excited to get it. Uh, Everything but Kevin. I'll let you keep the shirt. She says. Oh, I'm keeping the shirt. It's more. It's more you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the final item here. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Have an explanation behind this box. All right. Okay. Don't be an oversharer. Well, no. So a couple years ago, uh, I had a subscription to a Loot Crate specific box, Firefly box. Firefly, the Joss Whedon TV show. Yeah, it was a really, it was a series of boxes. It was a series of boxes that came out every other month. And so it got up to month 13, which was supposed to be the start of season two. See, it's supposed to be ironic since Firefly only had one season. Then I got one box. But then they kept charging me afterwards and I never got a box. For like three for, or four months. Yeah, so yeah. eventually they hit me up. They said, hey, we know we haven't supplied you with the Firefly box. We'll send you three Loot Crate boxes of equal value because uh, they were a little bit more expensive than a regular Loot Crate. But we'll give you three boxes. And they did. Randy wants the ring. You want the ring? The ring's yours, sir. Yep. So. Cool. So they sent me three boxes. I thought that was that. I thought it was done. You know, they sent me stuff that I didn't really want. But hey, I got it. I got my money's worth, apparently. Well, then right before the Christmas, they hit me up, like out of nowhere. They're like, hey, um, we know we screwed you over <laughs> on giving you your Firefly stuff. So depending on your subscription length, we're going to be sending you three boxes to make up for the three boxes you never got. And uh, this is a single box. I don't know what's in this box. I can only assume that it's Firefly related, which is why, why we wear Firefly yeah, stuff. These actually came out of the Firefly subscription boxes yeah. that we had. So I have a whole display cabinet right over here just full of Firefly We'll have stuff. to do a, a tour of some of our collections because we have many collections. <laughs> Even if I don't... Sammy's just being stingy now. It's my precious. I think I think the ring would go to my brother better though, Sammy, because his Ghostbusters collection is in insane. So Sammy's just mad. Sammy, you are getting here this amazing. I'll send you this, Sammy, and that that way you can like. Sammy, you are getting this amazing little bubble with this little blue dude and this and piece of paper. Hat. This piece of paper. I Sammy, don't know look. why you are being. It looks like a so trap. Incredibly ungrateful. I know. <laughs> I'm sending you a paper copy of a, of a ghost trap. You could totally play Ghostbusters. You could have you like, woo! Down across the street! There you go, Sammy. See? You just need to look outside the box. There you go. And we need to look inside this box. Right. I already cut the tape. Oh, did you? While you were yapping around. Okay. I cut the tape. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, more boxes and boxes. Okay. okay. Well, let's see what we got here. So there's only like two things in this box. Maybe three, but it looks okay. like two. Okay. We have a box mm -hmm. and we have a fabric thing. Okay. What would you like to pick up? Let's do the box first. So in each of those boxes was always a statue of some sort. It would often be printed on the box. So I honestly don't know what this is. But there would be a statue of a figure from the show. Okay. Oh! Oh! That's cool! Mutter's Milk is a reference in the show. Mutter's Milk, uh, Hero of Canton, Higgins Moon. That is a reference to an episode called Jamestown. Yes, where he has a statue erected in his honor. That's in right. The town. This is really that, nice. It's like stoneware. It's stoneware, oh, yes. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool <laughs> one. Here, I'll just put this down. Okay. Because this ain't going back in the box. Right. This is cool. I like that a lot. All right, what's that? This thing? is uh, heavy fabric here. Let's okay. see what this guy is. Ooh, it's got a zipper on it. Ooh. Oh, It's a hoodie. Yeah. It's got Serenity on the sleeve. Oh, that's cool. It's got the actual ship of Serenity on a leaf. A leaf in the wind. Oh, that's that's awesome. Nothing on the back though, but still, that's pretty cool. That's cool. 
that's perfect for like winter nights when we sit outside. You know, it's like 50 outside. degrees down here right now. Just, so this it's Florida cold. Yeah. That's a thing. That's nice. I like that. Very cool. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm feeling There's it. There's something else in here. Okay. Yeah. There's another fabric thing. What does it say? I can kill you with my brain. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what size is that? That looks like it would fit me. Should be a medium. Medium is big. Yeah. That's a big medium, That's isn't it? That's a big it? medium. It's more yeah. like a large. Yeah. I could probably fit this. I guess they had all my info still. I'll double spank. I guess they had all my info still on file for medium shirt. That's cool. Well, cool. That means the hoodies be your size too, because that would be for you. Yeah. What else we got in here? What else we got here? There's other stuff in here, Tim. Okay. Oh, more than okay. What's this? What do we got? Um, oh, I love patches. I really do. That I'm was not, a declaration. I'm not even joking. Sammy doesn't want our clothes. Oh, oh cool. those are cool. So this is the Serenity logo. Uh, can't stop the signal. The signal right here. That's a reference to the Serenity movie, mm -hmm. if you've seen it. And you're beginning to damage my calm. You're beginning to damage my calm. That's me. That's a that's, that's a me. good patch. That's me after three palette cleansers. These are fantastic. They're quality patches too. Nice. That's fun. I like that. There's okay. more stuff in here. All right. All right. So far, they're not disappointing. Um, <laughs> what's this? Oh. All right. Um, scoot to the side just slightly. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed there's a flag right here and it's got a star symbol on it. And that is the, um, you can't see some names on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, but it's a big version of what it's a big is. version of this flag. It's flag of the independence from Firefly. Very cool. Oh, oh it's a it's tattered a, flag. It's a tattered flag. Okay. But this is a flag of the independence, which were basically the good guys in, in the show. Very cool. That is cool. I like that. There's more stuff in here. Dang. In a bridge. Shan Yu. <laughs> is that dirty? No. Once again. I always ask if it's dirty if you giggles. It's probably a notebook itself. A journal, if you yeah. will. Shan Yu. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a journal. Oh, it's a journal. Um, was a famous uh, Chinese, uh, not prophet, I guess a prophet. Who, who would like the wise man say? Prophet. Prophet. Okay. Yeah. Live with the man for 40 years, share his house, his meals, speak on every subject, then tie him up and hold him over a volcano's edge. And on that day, you will finally meet the man. So Come there you on. go. Yeah. Um, Sammy, honey. Knowledge of a warrior poet. There you go. Is this you claiming this? Do you want this? No, this I box is not open. This. this box is not open for negotiation. This is for you, honey. This is for us. This, 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 uh, this box is not open for negotiation. <laughs> I know. This I'm box is off you. the table. I'm just teasing you, Sammy. Okay, there's more in here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what is this? And they, this is like, it's been space bagged. It's space bagged. Space bag. Oh, it's a is super it a soft. Snuggie? It's a blanket. It's a super soft. Hey, is this big damn here? It says it says what's on my shirt. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. There we go. It's literally what's on my shirt. <laughs> it's the same design and everything, I think. This is yeah. amazing. That's fun. There's more. Oh, seriously? Yep. And last but not least. Oh, there came a pin in every box as well. This one says shiny, which is a major reference to the show itself. Wow. So I feel like they're not giving three boxes 
but they gave three boxes worth of material because this is thank you for your continued patience as a firefly cargo crate subscriber we are delighted to bring you this firefly cargo crate that contains 50 100 or 150 dollars worth of exclusive firefly items depending on how many crates you had left in your subscription this was a lot of stuff in here so i think, I think, this I think was 150 yeah. Uh, we continue to be passionate as Firefly are thrilled to bring back the crates line soon. So there you go. It's so a, this is there. We're sorry we screwed up. They gave me my money's the worth. The boxes were 50 bucks each because yeah. this is a lot of stuff. This is. I mean, this is actually a pretty heavy blanket. I would guarantee this thing retails by itself for like $30 or $40. No doubt. You know? This is a $40 hoodie. At I least, guarantee you. Yeah. This is probably every bit of a $25, $25 mug. mug. It's really heavy. Plus the pin. This, this sketchbook is leather bound. Yeah. This is nice quality stuff. Yeah. Well, that is exciting. Cause that we, was good. We were really upset about that for a while. We don't like people swindling our dollars. Yes. Honestly. Kristen uh, wants the blanket. <laughs> oh, honey. Blankets are mine. Yeah. That's, that's this is, oh my gosh. That's real nice. All right. I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome of all of this. This is what I look like normally, guys. Just like this wrapped in the blanket. So nice. Very cool. Very cool. All right. All right. Well, I'm here for this. Yeah. So like I said, I didn't have a mystery mail call comic unboxing because I just wasn't impressed with the uh, exclusive items this month. That's so, right. That's yeah. right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us open up these crates and listen to me and him yelling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do we just bicker yeah bicker because you love you so much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um we got some cool stuff coming up soon we've got uh some park trips and yeah. other things in the work Gretchen's going to react to some more tiktok videos this yes week. he's been ticking and talking for me to watch some videos so yeah. we're going to do reactions and um and then next week after that uh, i've got family in town take them to disney unfortunately gretchen's got to work like a bum so it'll just be me and, and uh, me taking other people to the park. Yes, we got the, some nieces and nephews coming. So we're going to take them to the park. And well, he's going to take them to the park and they're going to they're gonna have a day together. So we'll get to see some fun stuff. Uh, I believe you owe me for stealing a blanket. Oh, no, that blanket's mine also. Oh, by the way, all blankets belong to me. What blanket is this? Oh, it's not her blanket. She is it the glow in the dark star is one? The glow in the dark star. So my sister in law had this blanket, and it was blue with like Wonder Woman stars on it. And I just walked into her room and, she and took it. it off of her bed. It was on her like, bed. And Gretchen's like, "This is mine like now." And yeah, that was, I walked out. That was every bit of fifteen years ago, and it's mine. I still have it. It's in a space bag in the closet. Sammy, I appreciate the fact that you do show up every Monday thank night you, Sam, to hang out with you. us during our video premieres. Yes, really. Yes. And thank you, Swan and Todd, for coming to say hi. It's really nice to hang out with our friends. Yes. Thank you, guys. We do, you know, we do hangouts every Monday night. So feel free to, to stop by You're during the video premieres just to chat or whatever. Yes. You know? So, uh, but anyway, I think we're going to get out of here. I think so. Got to. Got a busy week. We got family in town. It's only Monday. It's, man. O it's only Monday. Yeah. I know. It's gonna be a long week. It's a mess. All right, guys. All right. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We'll talk to you guys we'll talk soon. To you guys soon. Bye. Bye.